Hey everybody, this is Troy Lydeen in Richland and we're gonna go over a maintenance kit for trombones today. Um, but it's gonna come of basically five items, uh, your oiling and your greasing, the brushes for cleaning, and um, a polish cloth, as well as a pencil and practice record. Pretty simple with a trombone because basically the entire thing is just piping, there's no valves, there's no keys, there's no uh, anything for something to jam up on. Um, so what we'll start with is your, your oil, your slide oil. Um, no matter what brand you use, um, you should remember that the socks at the very end of the slide, the slightly wider part, is all you need to oil. You don't have to have the whole slide loaded with uh, oil or grease. And how you end up doing that is uh, by just putting a couple of the drops um, on the slide itself, on the socks as you go in. It only takes a few like we did with valves. And that should be enough to get the slide working. And then that's why they uh, have spray water. Um, you can spray water on there to help thin out the oil a little bit. Uh, note that you don't use the grease. Uh, the grease is for slides that you don't want to have move at all. Um, and that would be on a trombone, all you have left is your tuning slide. Um, and what you end up doing is using just a little bit that's necessary and put it on the edges of the slides so that as it goes into the uh, instrument, it'll uh, disperse this, the, uh, the grease evenly. And again, uh, a little kind of goes a long way. Sometimes instruments come back with uh, slide grease and cork, all, uh, cork grease rather all over them. Um, it just takes a little bit to get them to move. If they're not moving um, with that little, then probably there's a dent um, in either one of the uh, slides, the tuning slide or the actual hand slide. It doesn't take much for this to get dented or uh, off from the inside to the outside slide um, and, and cause them to kink up. So usually if there's any kind of problems, it's grime related and they should be rinsed out. Um, they're easy to bathe. Take the instrument, anything that you could handle with your hands, you can handle with the instrument. So some type of uh, dish soap that's an anti-grease um, usually works well. You can basically submerge the whole instrument into a bathtub to clean it. And there's only two types of brushes that you'd use with the trombone. And that's the uh, vinyl coated snake. Um, I would note that the ends of these that hold the bristles go in about a half an inch. That's the only thing to be aware of. We notice a lot of times that the uh, ends of these will break off up inside the instrument. Um, so to alleviate that, I would recommend you go in on the water key side and push it all the way through if you can. so that you're past that water key before you pull it back out and it'll stop it from jamming up or, or at least help. The other brush that it comes with is the mouthpiece brush. The tips of the bristles are uh, better to clean with than just jamming it in there. So only go in until it's um, somewhat loose and just through the mouthpiece and get it out clean that way. The, the last aspect of your uh, kit is a pencil, which you'll need for band anyways, for marking your music, and a practice sheet, and a cleaning cloth. Um, I recommend getting a couple of these. Um, they're fairly cheap, and one can wipe down the instrument, and one can be used to wipe off that excess grease. This stuff getting up inside the case is, is uh, makes things as dirty as anything else does. Um, your practice record is something that you could write down so that you keep track of the scales that you're on, so you're not going in practicing the same scales over and over, as well as keep track of your uh, maintenance on the instrument. And uh, wish you luck and happy practicing.